Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'm Dr. Morales. Today we're going to be talking about pacemakers and how they can help in the management of your atrial fibrillation. When I meet a patient and I'm discussing with them treatment options about atrial fibrillation, I get frequently asked about pacemakers and whether they can help with the management of atrial fibrillation. First, I get this question from patients. It seems like they are assuming that the pacemaker is going to fix atrial fibrillation or cure the atrial fibrillation. And the first thing I want to say is that a pacemaker does not cure atrial fibrillation. It doesn't get rid of the condition. Uh, but it can certainly help in the management of atrial fibrillation in several situations. First situation in which the atrial fibrillation can help is that the AFib just goes too slow. Uh, you may say, well, AFib usually makes your heart go fast. But there are circumstances where it can go too slow. Uh, the, the pulse that you check when you're checking your heart rate comes from the bottom portion of the heart. And even though you're in atrial fibrillation, sometimes the bottom portion of your heart, your pulse can go slow or sometimes even pause. And in those cases, the pacemaker can help with those slowness or pauses. The second circumstance in which pacemaker can help is what's called tacky Brady syndrome. What that basically means is that when you are in AFib, your heart rate actually is going pretty fast and you need fairly aggressive medication to help control the fastness of the heart rate. However, when the AFib stops and you go back into normal rhythm, your, heart, your natural heartbeat is actually very slow. And it can be very difficult to balance out the two when you have a fast heartbeat in AFib and a slow heartbeat when you're in normal rhythm. Uh, a lot of times when you're taking medications for atrial fibrillation, your natural heartbeat then becomes very slow when you get out of AFib and people can feel dizzy or lightheaded. And in these situations, a pacemaker can help balance out the heart rate so that your natural heartbeat is not so slow and then your AFib, you can tolerate better medication so that it's not going so fast either. And in those situations, it can help balance things out between medications the fast heartbeats and the slow heartbeats as well. And it's a very useful treatment option for a lot for a lot of patients, especially if you're not a good candidate for more aggressive options like an ablation procedure. The third way in which a pacemaker can help is combined with a simple type of ablation called an AV nodal ablation. An AV nodal ablation is where you burn in the middle portion of the heart basically just to control the heart rate. You're still in AFib, but your heart rate is no longer going to be able to go fast. It actually ends up going very slow. Uh, and I'm going to discuss this more in my next segment. And because your heart rate goes very slow with this type of ablation, it's required to do it with a pacemaker or somebody who already has a pacemaker. And the, in these situations, it can definitely help control somebody's uh, symptoms. But uh, AV node ablation is a very important dis discussion point, which I'll be talking about in my next segment. But these are several situations in which a pacemaker can actually help benefit your pacemaker. Sorry, a pacemaker can actually help benefit your atrial fibrillation. It's not a cure, but it can certainly aid in the management of your atrial fibrillation. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'll see you next time.